today's training was man lift operator training. So it covers scissor lifts and boom lifts and the type of uh, things that people have to go up into when they're on work sites. And so we go through the regulations and then the operation of the equipment and then have to do a practical demonstration so that uh, they've learned some of those skills uh, throughout the class. We've had a very good relationship with the college for many years now. They have rented from us, they're one of our customers, and they've been an awesome resource for us now to use uh, for our uh, staff training. For one thing, our staff can take the training on our own equipment so it's something that we need to be familiar with rather than using someone else's equipment and then having to apply that to, to something different. They will do what needs to be done to work with the companies to help them, uh, you know, to, to solve the problems that they've got with, uh, with their training and with their requirements to uh, make sure their guys are competent. We have to continue to keep the business open while we're having the training, so if we can uh, split the guys up and send them on two different days, and uh, the college was very amenable to that. We offer them uh, throughout the whole range where the, where the college has their courses, right? So I do a, a, a number of them up in the Kindersley area and then we're going to be doing some in Warham and, and uh, all the other spots where the college has, has their campuses. Well, it's important for us from a safety aspect primarily, both for our own staff and for our ability to instruct our customers. Certainly we get a lot of our customers coming in and asking about training. We've just been forwarding those requests onto the college because they do such a great job. We don't want to try to interfere with what they're already doing so well.